Welcome to Conquest Moment today with Matthew Asinia. Today I want to continue preaching on prophecy fulfillment. The area I want us to look at today is how to pay attention to the prophetic. A lot of people don't take prophecy or prophetic words seriously. Hear me, words that come through prophetic utterance are not to be taken lightly. Let's go to the scripture in the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 19 to 21. Amen. I read. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day down and the star arise in your heart. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of a scripture is of any private interpretation, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, but the holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Yes, a word of prophecy, genuine prophecy, is a sure word that will surely come to pass. That same scripture says, then pay attention to words of prophecy. Listen to me. The words of prophecy has the capacity to carry you to where you will find fulfillment. Huh? The Bible says, through a prophet, Israel left Egypt. And by a prophet, they entered into the promised land. So the word of prophecy or prophetic words has the capacity to carry you into your place of destiny. Amen. Here this again. The scripture says, no prophecy is for private interpretation. It is not something somebody can interpret with his natural senses. That is why sometimes it sounds very foolish to some people. It doesn't come by the will of man. Genuine prophecy don't come by the will of man. And the scripture now said that holy men of God speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So the foundation of genuine prophecy is holiness. Let's make progress. Beloved, when you take prophecy lightly, it is dangerous. And it puts those people in the position of opposing God and what God desires to say or to do. The moment you don't take prophecy seriously or prophetic words seriously, it is dangerous. Because you are like standing on the way of God from doing what he wants to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So be very, very careful because the assignment of the prophet and genuine man of God is to deliver. In the book of Jeremiah 1.10, I open your eyes to the assignment. And so when you know that assignment, then you will know that every man of God coming to speak into your life is coming to do one thing out of this assignment. And hear what Jeremiah 1.10 says. See, I have this day sent thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down and to build and to plant. So when you see a man of God, the only man of God coming into your life, is either he's coming to cast out, root out what is not good, pull down the forces of hell, destroy whatever is working against you, and throw down every forces that have been striving against you, and then build you up and then plant you plant you, plant you in a place you are supposed to be. And how do they do this? They do this by the words, by prophetic words. Hallelujah. They do this by prophetic words because in the book of Amos 3.7 the scripture says, surely the Lord God will do nothing but he reveal his secret unto his servant the prophet. His secret is revealed to his servant, men of God. Hallelujah. Hear me. So what do you then do? Beloved, if you have had a personal prophecy and haven't seen it manifest in your life, it is time you find out where you need to take action. So number one action is apply your faith to the prophecy. It will come to pass. Declare the words of prophecy in prayers and in fasting like I taught you before. Because the moment the word of prophecy has come, you become co-laborer with God to see how that prophecy will come to pass. And that is what it is. Amen. And I am saying to you here, the prophetic words combined with people's faith is unstoppable. Hallelujah. Here it is. That is why sometimes you go into agreement with those men of God. You go into agreement with people. Amen. The scripture in the book of Matthew 18, 18 says, If two shall agree concerning anything, shall be done for them by their Father in heaven. I'm just paraphrasing. Listen to me. If one can chase a thousand and two can put ten thousand to flight, imagine what happen when thousands of us join faith together so listen to me you need to join your faith pay attention to prophetic words and join your faith 
to the word of prophecy so that it can come to pass. I am not stopping here today. I'm stopping here today, but I hear God saying, I hear God saying, I should tell you that you should begin to bridle your tongue. Mind what you say so that you will not put yourself into trouble. Mind what you say so that you can have good result. Mm, mm, mm. That's what God says I should tell you. Yes, God says I should tell you to take care of your anger, temperament, work at it because it has robbed you of a lot of blessings. God say I should tell you that the door, international doors, is open for you. Yes, doors are open for you. Doors of opportunities have been made open. Yes, yes, yes. He is saying again, you should be quick to hear and be slow to speak so that you can have your life, so that you can have blessing in your life. Yes. He said, I should tell you to be faithful. Try and always be faithful so that God's blessing will locate you. That's what the Lord says. Try and be faithful so that God's favor and blessing will always locate you. That's what the Lord has me tell you. I prophesy visitation. Prophesy lifting. Prophesy open doors. Prophesy favor. That is your portion. In Jesus' mighty name. So be it. So be it. And so be it. Amen. Beloved, I'm stopping here right now. But find time and worship in Apostolic Army International and you will not regret it. Hmm. Apostolic Army is the answer to your prayers. It's a solution you have been waiting for. Worship there and you will not regret it. Hallelujah. Hear this. If you have had me and you are not giving your life to Jesus, this is an opportunity you have right now. Say after me, Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and personal Savior in Jesus' mighty name. So be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen. My name is Matthew Asini. I'm the God General of Apostolic Army International. Make sure you join the one for the 4,000 Battalion of Apostolic Army now. You will not regret it. The one for the 4,000 Believers Network. The people that are going to see the Lord. Beloved, sponsor Apostolic Army. Support Apostolic Army. Pray for Apostolic Army. Because Apostolic Army is the end time army that God has sent into this world to bring soul into the kingdom. Above all, worship in Apostolic Army every Sunday. And always call me on 0811-002055. Call me for prayer, call me for counseling, and I will pray for you. But remember, Apostolic Army, we are dogged and rugged. We are tested and trusted. We confront and we conquer. Apostolic Army, we fear no foe. Apostolic Army, we are on the offensive. Worship in Apostolic Army this Sunday. I will lay my hand upon you and I will prophesy over your life and you will be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. So be it, so be it, and so be it. Amen. God bless you.